Hello friends, in this video tutorial we will be talking about the origin of spontaneous mutations. Now in this picture what we are looking at, the different way how the mutation can be originated. Now the most important thing uh, in this case we can see there are several lining of uh, problems or several lining of changes in nucleotide sequences in DNA. Now any nucleotide sequence change in DNA can lead up to the mutation. Uh, for example, any problem during the DNA polymerase activity when the DNA polymerase incorporates any wrong nucleotide onto the growing polymerase, growing chain of the uh, DNA, it can lead up to replication errors or sometimes endogenous mutagens are there endogenous mutagens means metabolic damages and all these things when they, those things are there they, they, those things can cause mutagenic nucleotides as a result of the addition of those mutagenic nucleotides again replication errors may occur and uh, in all other cases these endogenous mutagens uh, those may be chemical mutagens and also some physical damages can also lead up to these endogenous mutagens they can spontaneously create damages in the DNA now the spontaneous DNA damage which is occurred by these endogenous mutagens again lead up to uh, some replication errors or something like that in those situations uh, there are some repair mechanisms that are present inside the cell which will not work because they run out of all their necessary ingredients for repairing the DNA damages. In those situations, they sustain uh, the damage of the DNA instead of repairing them. This is called the error-prone repair. So the error-prone region means there must be error and when there is an error, uh, those uh, erroneous nucleotides are kept inside the DNA that is not bypassed. So the repair uh, was not done and error is maintained or error is sustained in those cases that can also lead up to the mutation but whatever uh, process uh, it is getting into it finally need to go through the next round of DNA replication to finally achieve the mutation because in uh, during this DNA polymer stalling or mutagenic nucleotides addition or ex endogenous mutagen activity there must be replication errors or spontaneous DNA damages but this will show the mutation only after the next replication stage so when uh, the next uh, round of replication completes then it creates the mutations and those mutations lead up to malfunctioning of uh, the expression of the gene that uh, that are present in the DNA sequence okay now there are several techniques inside the cell which are presented uh, which are uh, placed to uh, to remove those mutations placed to repair the uh, mechanism repair the errors what are um, what are being done due to this kind of endogenous mutagens or exogenous mutagens now for example there are uh, here uh, different error free repair systems are out there uh, for uh, blocking the spontaneous uh, addition of wrong nucleotide uh, into the DNA or sometimes there are uh, proofreading activity not sometimes most of the times proofreading activity is there which is a very very important activity of DNA polymerase to check uh, that uh, whether the right nucleotides are being added or not if wrong nucleotides are added then they act as uh, the 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease and it chews up a few nucleotide sequences and then synthesizes it again and this is uh, this this proofreading activity mm, lower down the effect of uh, damages in the DNA sequence or sometimes mismatch repair systems are there with the help of different mismatch repairing enzymes there are several set of specialized enzymes that can always act onto these nucleotides to remove the damaged nucleotides from the DNA and incorporate the right nucleotides onto the place of damaged DNA okay for example there are repair systems called nucleotide excision repair there are base excision repair systems uh, are always there for doing this but the totally different type of repair system lies on this error prone repair which is also called the SOS repair when DNA uh, never try uh, when DNA uh, fail to repair all the damages in those situations they take the place for uh, having this, that those mutation or having those damage inside the DNA and go on with it uh, and just carrying all these mutations in the in, in the cell and it can give rise to the huge defect inside the cell but still they can only do this if they have uh, not uh, they, they, they run out of all the necessary equipments for controlling the damage inside the DNA okay so these are the uh, origin of spontaneous mutations and I hope it will help you thank you